Okay. So today's paddle, I am launching from near, just downriver from Holdenpile Dam. I don't, this is just my favorite place to launch. There's the launching pad um, spot up at the dam. So I went up there and took a picture of the dam. But I like launching from here, it's called Woodpecker Creek Launch. Because Woodpecker Creek is right over there. Um, it's out by Holden Pile Dam. You just go down River Road, I believe it is, and then Blueberry Lane, or I might have that mixed up, but I just go by memory and landmarks, not remembering the names of roads. But I'm getting myself ready. It's a solo paddle today. Should be about 16 and a half to 17 miles. I'm going to call it the dam paddle because I'm going from Holden Pile Dam to Tippy Dam, where my husband and my granddaughter will come and pick me up at the end of the paddle. Oh, I packed some snacks and my coffee, of course, and lots of water. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking out the color change, how much more color there is um, in the trees. I hope to video the gnats. Hope to video as much as I can. It's kind of hard to video because <laughs> I don't have a GoPro. So holding my phone and trying to video on my kayaks, you know, being swept across the river is kind of a challenge. But I'll touch in, I'll touch base when I stop for snacky breaks and um, stretch my leg breaks and pee breaks. So I have my hat all secure with all my extra stuff. It's a beautiful day. Sunny skies, oh my gosh, sunny skies. I think it's 67, it's supposed to be high as 71. Light breeze, it's a Friday. I saw a group, big group of people getting ready to launch at um, Holden Pile, so they might come up on me later today when I'm taking a break and stuff, but um, I'm looking forward to a nice time on the river today and um, just a enjoying everything <laughs> there is to enjoy on the river. Got to get it while I can. I see that blue heron every time I paddle and it makes me feel like I'm just not alone.
get out by, sit down, enjoy some sunshine, stretch my legs, and get a little snack break. So I just have to share with you a special treat I got myself for today's paddle at the farm market. Mmm, fresh baked croissant from Wildflower Bakery. Doesn't that look good? Well, I just paddle under Red Bridge, so I only have probably about five more miles to go to Tippy Dam. I would get out here, but I think there's probably gonna be an opportunity for me to get out and stretch my legs because I'll be paddling through what I call the shallows. And it is known to be extremely shallow at times where I just bottom out and I have to get out and drag my boat through. So we'll see what today brings. This is just breathtaking. Every time I turn around this bend and see the hills in the distance, I just, just get so much peace and joy from it. I don't know if you can see it from this video, but 
man, it is absolutely beautiful. So I just pulled up to this island. Um, I think it's called Government Island. I'm not quite for sure, but I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, it brings back memories. Um, I remember a few years ago, I brought my son Jacob on a paddle with me. Avid fisherman, um, loves kayaking and fishing. So hey, you wanna join mom for a, a river kayak? Um, paddle the river, go do some fishing on the Manistee. I said, it's real easy. We paddle upstream or downstream for a few miles and we turn around and come back upstream. He's like, what? Upstream? And I'm like, yeah, it's really slow. It's the backwaters of Tippy, blah, blah, blah. No problem. You're strong, you're young, you're an avid paddler. So we get out here and we stop at this island and, and uh, he throws some lines out in the river and we're just, you know, enjoying the time together. And then it's time to paddle back. Well, unbeknownst to me, because he was an, an adult by then, and um, I really didn't know how much he paddled. I just knew he liked to. Um, he had never paddled on a river. I mean, he did when he was a kid. He went on a canoe trip with my husband a long, long, long time ago. So anyway, we start paddling up river, and he's like, man, you know, he's got this little eight foot, you know, plastic kayak, and I'm in my nice, you know, 13 foot eddy line. Anyway, he's paddling to save save his soul to to keep up with mom, and I think it got to him a little bit. And I'm like, it's okay, you know, it's just we're going upstream. You got this little boat, and you know you're not used to it and everything. And he's like trying to chill out. Then the wind picks up, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> and he is <laughs> he's not really complaining, but I know he's not having a fun time. Then, probably a mile from the Red Bridge, because we put in at Red Bridge and paddled down about a mile from Red Bridge, the rain starts. <laughs> and I'm like, oh boy, oh, I'm like, well, this is, you know, <laughs> part of the adventure. Oh gosh. And I'm like, <laughs> paddle hard, paddle hard to stay warm. So we get back to the Red Bridge and we finally get out and thank goodness, you know, mom brings all the right gear and stuff. So I had dry clothes and towels and stuff for us. And, and, uh, oh my gosh, I, I joked with them. I said, well, the next time your mom asks you if you want to go on a kayaking adventure, what are you going to say? Um, I think he said, now that we're done, you know, and he survived it, he said it was okay, but man, it sucked for a while there. Um, but gosh, just sitting here brings just brought all those memories back. And uh, gosh, I just hope through all the these years that I can keep my body strong and healthy, and I can share adventures like this with my young granddaughters as they grow up. That's my goal, anyway. But I'm gonna have some coffee and uh, just relax here on the spot and and just cherish and think of all the good memories that day yeah. has. I'm gonna trudge up this sand bank. Oh, sorry about that. I gotta, grab, I gotta grab my coffee. Trudge up the sand bank. My legs need some exercise anyway. Whew. Oh. Oh. There's a campsite way up there. I don't know if I wanna go all the way up there. Whew. What the heck? My legs need to work out. There's some young guys up there camping. Just met them down at the beach. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I will make it. Whew. Whew. 
Almost to the top. Whew. I don't think I'd disperse camp here off the river. Oh, unless I had a couple young people to help me carry my shit up. Oh, wow. Maybe I would. This is like super, super nice camp spot. Oh my, look at this view. Oh, I think I will. Camp back here, especially if the only access is by water. Wow, the bad part is, no, not bad, whatever is that it's also the backwaters of tippy so people in fishing boats can get back here not just paddlers but my goodness i think me and my friend benita need to check this place out okay so i just pulled up to this other spot on the river that means a lot to me it was the place where i did my first ever kayak dispersed camping. First ever kayak camping for that matter. It was a three mile paddle out here from Red Bridge. We, we beached right here and set up camp. As soon as we set up camp, a major thunderstorm rolled in. Downpour rain, thunder, lightning all over us. I thought, I'm gonna die. My first time out and I'm gonna die. My friend stayed super calm which in turn kept me super calm. He showed me so much that night about how to disperse camp, how to pitch tent, how to um, navigate, you know, finding the firewood and um, just staying calm and being in the present moment and just, um, just being in the woods. Um, I was terrified, of course, because I was scared of absolutely everything still at the time. But um, his calmness and assurance just helped quench my fears enough that um, I survived. I mean, where else was I gonna go? I certainly wasn't gonna get back in my boat and paddle in the dark <laughs> by myself. So sometimes it's just putting yourself out there with a trusted friend. And when there's really no escape, honestly, I mean, you're there in the moment. You just have to embrace it and deal with it. Whatever comes, thunderstorms, the heavy rains, the darkness, um, the night sounds, you just have to, you just deal with it. And um, you find some inner strength to get through it. And I did, and I will be eternally grateful and thankful to my friend that took the time to bring this newbie out and um, show me and teach me and just be with me and, and just stay calm and patient with me. Thanks, Jason. Well, I made it to Tippy Dam. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but it's like right there, I think, or over there. <laughs> anyway, I made it 18, almost 19 miles because I took a detour down the Pine River where it joins into the Manistee for a little bit. I've always wanted to do that. So I figured why not today? Beautiful day. So my husband should be waiting for me at the launch up there to pick me up and uh, take me home. Hope you enjoyed tagging along with me today. And remember, rise up 
reach and reconnect.